The time on the clock is a deciding factor for many things, like whether you get turned into a pumpkin, or if your mum ends up having a crush on you. It's like I'm kissing my brother. Despite all the chaos which may be happening, clocks are what we rely on. Time is the only thing that is certain. Or is it? Back to the Future throws out this entire idea that time is stable. Marty's race against the past ultimately decides whether he will exist in the future or not. The concept of time is stressful, and this is only further reinforced by Doc's manic behaviour. The same idea of time being unstable is explored when Harry and Hermione travel through time to try and save Sirius's life, ultimately endangering their own. Where were we at 7.30? Goodbye. Oh, no, wait. The idea of racing against the clock seems to be recurring in film, whether characters are aware of it or not. Jack's note to Rose says, Make a count, meet me at the clock, signifying that Rose is subconsciously aware that the ship's dock will be where she has to make her decision between a life with Jack or a life with Cal. However, there is an unknown ticking time bomb, or clock if you will, which will ultimately make her decision for her. When Gatsby drops the clock in front of Daisy, the idea of trying to make up for lost time is shown in a rather clumsy and over the top way. Clocks can be represented in different ways. The crocodile from Peter Pan, nicknamed TikTok, was always creeping up on Captain Hook, foreshadowing that his fate was approaching. This could symbolise Captain Hook's fear of death. Clocks also have a way of signifying that death or doom is approaching, particularly in the horror genre. The witching hour is believed to be the time where evil powers are the most potent, explaining why all scary things seem to happen at around that time in the night. They're all trying to kill me! I mean, I just wanted to leave. You know, my apartment, maybe meet a nice girl. And now I've got to die for it, you know? What do you want from me? Martin Scorsese's After Hours reinforces that it is in the late hours of the night where strange things happen. Since clocks have long been symbols of attempts to place artificial construction on the dimension of time, Groundhog Day completely rejects this entire concept. Happy Death Day follows this same structure. Tree continues to relive the day that she dies until she finds out who her killer is. <coughs> the importance of clock symbolism in film has been displayed through Christian Marclay's art installation, The Clock. It is a 24-hour video montage of scenes from film and television that feature clocks or timepieces. It's presented synchronised and in real time. Clocks in film are not always portrayed as the logical construct that we perceive it to be in reality. As we've seen, the purposes of clocks and time can be challenged in film, representing many different themes, like freedom, death, choices, and fate.